As I mentioned in the uh, earlier video I posted today, just spent uh, all night printing that off and, uh, and I just lifted it off of this glass build plate. I noticed that not only have I got the little black marks uh, that come off of this sort of uh, slightly dimply finish, um, and it looks rough like that, not from use, but the fact that I've roughed it up with uh, uh, emery cloth just when I was trying to get adhesion, um, so some of the black bits were coming off. But when I took this off, hopefully if that will focus, we've <laughs> got a great big chunk of glass. And uh, if you look at the, the build plate, a great big chunk of glass is lifted off there, another piece there, and right up here is another piece there. So uh, again you can see this from the back, uh, unfortunately there's reflections, so you might not be able to see how that missing glass is not flat, it's, it's sort of a hollowed out piece, you can see the reflections perhaps on it. So uh, yeah, that's the end of that. A very disappointing considering the amount of use it's had, which isn't a lot. I uh, only have a 50 or 60 degree uh, build plate uh, temperature. I think that print was 60 and it was on through, you know, obviously hours and hours. So I'm just wondering now whether I can just spin this over and uh, use the perfectly flat uh, glass side. I'm going to try it I think. We'll just give it a damn good clean with some ISO and uh, then use some of the 3D lac and just do a test print. But yeah, very disappointing indeed to have that. Uh, I've now ordered a uh, another cheap glass uh, bed from uh, Amazon. It's about £10. Borosilicate glass. So we'll see if that makes any difference. It was either white or clear. Um, I don't like this textured surface particularly, especially if it's going to have bits coming off. Uh, so we'll see what a perfectly smooth glass bed does and whether this heats up perfectly. I'm going to have to go through the levelling process, which I did extensively yesterday with bed visualiser um, in uh, Octoprint, and I got a really good virtually all green uh, image in the end, uh, just a touch of yellow front right of the build plate, which just wouldn't quite adjust out. Anyway, so I'm going to flip this over, we'll get it a good clean, and uh, we'll uh, see about some printing some bits and pieces. I've had a chat with my colleague, who, a colleague on my forum who is very experienced with 3D printing, and uh, she seems to think that this is uh, probably pretty acceptable. Um, of course it's not going to be perfect, no 3D print ever is, um, but yeah that may well be as close as I'm going to be able to get things. Anyway, so yeah, disappointing, we're going to flip it over, try the other side and we've got a uh, another one coming tomorrow. Any issues uh, that you've had with uh, your bed or glass? I certainly don't like the magnetic one that came with it. Uh, there's no way that was ever uh, level. I thought we'd stand a good chance with the, the glass. Um, just didn't expect that to happen quite so soon, or even in fact at all. I didn't uh, ever see chunks of glass coming off like that. So there you go, another lesson learned.